I've covered this in other cat food recall videos talking about salmonella and of course you know it is a risk but it's a risk with whatever you feed whether you feed raw food kibble or canned foods hey friends it's Jess here with another cat food recall update so the most recent cat food recall update is from JM Smucker and they're recalling two lots of Meow Mix, original choice dry cat food for potential salmonella contamination. The company made the announcement on April 9, 2021, and the FDA published the announcement on its website April 12, 2021. The impacted products were sold at select stores in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different states. And it says that no other Meow Mix products are impacted by this recall. So if you're feeding this food, you're going to go to the FDA's website, it's linked below, and take a look at the retail code and the lot code, as well as the best if used by date. September 2022, expiration date. Does that make sense? Right now it's April 2021, so a year and a half from now, is when you should use that food. Do you eat anything that expires in, two, in a year and a half? I've covered this in other cat food recall videos talking about salmonella and of course you know it is a risk but it's a risk with whatever you feed whether you feed raw food, kibble, or canned foods. This recall proves it. Earlier this year Bravo, a raw pet food company, recalled a, a couple different products because of potential salmonella and listeria contaminations. Bravo recalled those products in the middle of March and then about one week later, Midwestern Pet Foods, a dry kibble manufacturing company, recalled products due to salmonella contamination. And if we take a look at this page's products, there are so many different line items here that are potentially contaminated. Now going back to Meow Mix, Meow Mix is the brand name, but the actual company making the food is J.M. Smucker. Does that sound familiar? J.M. Smucker makes different types of human foods and they also have multiple brands of pet foods too. So here we have Nine Lives, Canine Carryouts, Gravy Train, Kibbles and Bits, Nature's Recipe, Milo's Kitchen, Milk Bone, Meow Mix, Pepperoni, Rachel Ray Nutrish, and Snossages. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 different brands manufactured by one company. So I'm very curious if only two products from Meow Mix were potentially contaminated, but they manufacture 10 other, diff 10 other brands. I'm wondering if we're going to see an expanded recall coming soon from J.M. Smucker. That's exactly what happened to Midwestern Pet Foods Kibble Manufacturing Company in December 2020. They recalled multiple products due to aflatoxin mold, which is deadly. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different products. And then in January, about two weeks later, they expanded that recall to about 20 different products. And if we go back to Midwestern Pet Foods recall from March on Salmonella, there are over 120 different products that are made by one manufacturing company across multiple different brands. But the raw pet food company has one brand, it's, it's what they make, and it's nine different products. If you need a sign to change up your cat's food and feed your cat better, consider this a sign. Like I said, salmonella is the main objection to raw foods and fresh food diets, but salmonella is possible with every type of food that you feed. So if you want to feed your cat better, I highly, highly recommend learning how to read cat food labels. You can do this on AFCO's website or you can go to my channel homepage, how to read cat food labels the right way. It's the very first playlist. And if you're interested in feeding raw, raw cat food diet for beginners is the second playlist. Thanks for watching.